Hello everybody, welcome to another stream. Today we are going to stream the goths. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna announce on Twitter that I'm actually streaming. Because sometimes I do, and that gives people a chance to actually come say hi. <laughs> Oh dear, oh my god, I have, I am on my period and I occasionally have a real bad cramp. Um, so that was one. Uh, <laughs> so, well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, Come enjoy play, enjoy me play the gods. Well, I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, that's what I'm gonna type. Twitch.tv slash super vede. There we go. I wish I had a name that I could actually say. Hashtag the Sims 2. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. Then close Twitter because I have mentions and I don't want to talk to nobody. Yes, okay. So, uh, it's the Goths, as I said, and it's um, it's kind of interesting. I'm playing with this token system where I give different amount of attention to uh, Sims, depending on what token they have. <laughs> And you start up with number four if you're, if you as a sim <laughs> is like a known um, pre-made. So Mortimer and Bella had a um, uh, recorded token, or oh, like level four. We can say four. You lose you lose a level each time you have a child. So Mortimer and Bella was level four and they had Cassandra and uh, Alexander. And uh, so Cassandra was level four and Alexander was level three, <laughs> which means played. <laughs> and then after that, Mortimer and Bella was level two. But they're dead now, so it doesn't matter. Now Cassandra has four children, but two of them are twins. So she only gave birth three times, but she started on level four being recorded, but now she's all the way down on level one. <laughs> so she is actually, if she would be to live alone, she would be a townie and I would just move her out. Uh, but it's okay. Because she has little Cornelius goth hair, that is her heir, and he has the recorded token from her. So he is level 4 now. Now Darren... Darren has also gone down to level 1. You know what, let's just play them, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but what I can say, like, I have it all down in on my spreadsheet over here. So, uh, where's me? There's me. So what we can see here is Lester and Cornelius. Those are the two we are going to follow um, when they move out. Oh, and Darren would like to have a grandchild. Uh, that could be arranged. Whoa, he has quite a lot. Uh, I, I'm not sure about that though. <laughs> All right, so at some point he will he will get a grandchild. He has four children. As I said, Davis and Delmar. Is it Davis and Delmar? I need to check my spreadsheet. Uh, where did it go? Yes, Davis and Delmar, they are uh, twins. Where do I hide my all the time? 
I really do need a third screen. <laughs> I only have two screens and I think I need a third. And once I get that, I will probably start wanting a fourth. <laughs> it's the way of things. Well, okay, so he was level four, but he gave that to Dirk and he gave that to Melinda. So Melinda is now the recorded sim over here. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, Lilith was, was living in here in the goth mansion, waiting for Dirk to return uh, so that they could start their life together. And she got, she was, um, she wasn't pregnant, I think, but she got, she sat over here having a hamburger and she got spooked by a ghost and she died. That was quite sad. Did I like leave her here? She's over here. Here's Lilith Pleasant. And she never even got to marry Dirk and now he is moved out. Anyway, Cassandra is so busy being pregnant, so she's she is <laughs> pregnant again. But after this time, thankfully, she can't do it again until Cornelius move out. <laughs> so I think this will be her last baby, I hope, because I can't take it anymore. <laughs> anyway, she wants the baby, of course. But Darren over here only wants a grandchild. Well, that's interesting. Uh, he also wants to invite someone over. It is in the middle of the night, so I'm going to keep um i'm gonna focus on their needs so she could get leftovers because she's very hungry if you're asleep and it's in the middle of the night you can stay asleep all right okay he wants level three of something most of the food is burnt <laughs> Okay, well that's fine. Here's little Seth. Uh, he needs to pee. Why, Darren, why don't you potty train your son? Get bottle for toddler. He's not hungry. Oh, he is hungry. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Okay, then he stopped with everything. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> So there's not going to be time to potty train him. He is going to pee his pants, unfortunately. So he can just, Darren can just go and get a bottle. And then he can like change that dirty diaper that we will have. Uh, okay. Now, it was some time since I played these. Uh, okay, so Darren wants to max out seven skills, which happen to be all the skills. Uh, that's quite a lot. Okay, uh, Cassandra, she wants, like, their lifetime goals. She wants to become an education minister, but she is in, in science right now. So that's interesting. But if that's what she wants... Then we should check the newspaper. Maybe we should check the computer actually uh, and see if she can get into education. Imagine having Cassandra Goth as your teacher. <laughs> Isn't that, wouldn't that be lovely? Um, let's see. Find a job. Where is it? There. So you can. Focus on that. Oh, she she doesn't want to search for a job because she needs some fun first. Okay. Well, uh, she can have use the bathroom and then play something. What does she like to do? She likes tinkering. All right. Okay. Well, she so she will still play something. Play. Then I think, uh, no, <laughs> no, 
If you like tinkering, you, you're you probably more tr prone to play Sims, I think, than an action game. And then after that, she should be all happy and wanna get a job. Now, this little dude here. Um, where's the adjuster? This is apparently the adjuster. It's going to check. He is by okay because i just had him in my spreadsheet as not straight <laughs> and i added this gender preference column because i think it will be a little bit easier for me to figure out who who is available to whom <laughs> but you know they will probably just tell me oh, wait how old is he he is uh 13 so it's way too early for him to be thinking about college uh but he wants to get into private school well th there will probably be too much chaos but we can try to invite the headmaster um yes what did i say you need to change that diaper properly yes so Cornelius will try and get in and since he wants to go to college I think we should give him the task of doing his homework the headmaster will come over at 5 p.m. Lester is doing his homework okay that's good did I direct him to to do that i don't know but he wants an a plus report card so he should be doing his homework all right and dolmar <laughs> hey they keep okay well yes i probably told them to do their homework last time i played them all right okay well uh, i'm not gonna interfere with it <laughs> i probably made the decision already All right, okay, wait. Since Darren is in a good mood and I saw someone wanted to do his homework, can he like ask for homework help? Ask for help, Darren. Let's try and make that happen. All Dalmar got to work, what? Okay. See, I have this mod that I usually don't use in other households where you could, you can assign a desk to um, to the children. To they will always put their homework here. This homework looks different. Oh, hello! Hi, hi. This is one of the families I've never actually played. They're a bin family, right? What's their backstory? This is the Goths household. <laughs> this this here is Cassandra. Uh, they live in this house when Sims 2 starts uh, and Bella is disappeared when the game starts and the Mortimer lives here alone with Cassandra and um, Alexander. <laughs> so the title and that's why. Oh, I'm sorry. I do. I forgot to change the title. Um, that's all wrong. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna... The Goths. There we go. <laughs> uh, what was it before? Like the Burbs? Um, they are also... Like they are... We can go over to the neighborhood. They are not a Bin family? Wait. No. It was the news. Oh, the news. Yes, they are a Bin family. <laughs> That is correct. Uh, and their backstory is they were adopted. Um, I'm just going to tell you since you asked. Uh, where did I put them? They're over here. 
So they have a backstory here. I did not write this. This is from the game. So it says, after their parents' untimely death, the adopted Newsom clan is faced with the reality of separation and a return to foster care or we weathering the unknown future together. With no parents to guide or protect them, can the Newsom continue to provide each other safe the safety and security their adopted parents provided. And when the game starts, uh, you have Ginger and Gavin, they are teenager. And then they have two children and two toddlers to take care of. <laughs> that is, they are all um, brothers and sisters in the family tree, but they are adopted uh, according to this story. And I moved them into this house and Gavin went to college but he's back now and married to Brittany and <laughs> and Ginger married Randy London. <laughs> yeah, that, it, it's the, the old, good old days when, uh, <laughs> when things were not that politically correct <laughs> in The Sims. Anyway, Ginger, she didn't go to college because she never got the want to and she married Randy and she got pregnant and then she found Randy cheating on her with Lucy Burb, but <laughs> Ginger also had an affair with John Burb. So being all single and stuff, she actually stole John Burb from Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so John took his baby that he just got uh, with with uh, Jennifer, little William over here, and got over, and Ginger b gave birth to Juliet. Uh, that unfortunately she's named London right now. I'm going to change it. Um, and it turns out Juliet is actually John's daughter. <laughs> so. That happened, so that's their backstory. <laughs> um, but we're playing the Goths today. <laughs> there was a lot of drama, <laughs> and I think, like, I think Ginger wasn't really going to steal John until she found out that Lucy stole her man, and so, like, it was kind of a revenge thing. <laughs> Yeah, as you play Pleasant View, it only gets worse. <laughs> Especially if you have a, a what is it called? Casual romance mod, the ACR. Uh, it, it creates stuff. Mm. And uh, not to speak of like the the Sims Two actually, like in in and of itself have a uh, an attraction system so the sims will get attracted to each other and if you act on it you will get surprised <laughs> so that there's stuff and things um and i really in the sims 4 i really miss this bolts thing is you can instantly see that cassandra is pretty um Attracted to Darren, they have two bolts. The maximum is three. So if she like finds someone with three bolts, then she might like leave him. Maybe. But she hasn't yet. And she's since Dawn left her at the altar, she doesn't like him. <laughs> this changes by the way. Uh anyway. Where was I? Oh, right. Uh, she can so, uh, apply for a job now before I forget why she is doing it. She wants to become an education minister. Sims 4 has many nice quality of life changes, but nothing replaces the story plus feel of Sims 2 for me. No, I feel... You can play the same family a dozen of times and it will always be different. Yes, I feel like when I play The Sims 2, I get surprised on what 
about what is happening and I'm like oh my god they did that this time uh, but when I play The Sims 4 I don't get surprised because I decide everything <laughs> and sometimes some people like that I, I like to be surprised uh, we will not go into journalism are you helping him yes okay oh they have bills too oh education Yes. I think I should wait a couple of days before heading into work, at least until after the baby is born. Well, Cassandra, that is probably a good idea. Uh, you could, like, see if, <laughs> if you can help this child with something. Teach him to walk, for an example. Oh, also, I don't like that The Sims 2 toddlers all know how to walk. In the beginning, and they do that janky walk. They like. <laughs> I I think it's a bug um, that seems to occur in many people's games. What are you doing now? Writing diary. Okay. Well, yeah, that's important, I guess. Um. All right. Did you do your homework? No. This is his homework, right? I think, yes. So he should do that before the school bus comes. I had to assign desks to them with this mod because uh, before I did that, they just um, bugged out and didn't have homework. <laughs> I didn't like it. <laughs> Was that? Oh, the nanny is here. Is that because Darren is going to work soon? No. Well, I don't mind the nanny. It's nice. <laughs> Wait, we need to extract some money from the bank because this won't do at all. Um, they only have 17 simoleons out and I need to withdraw some money so that the nanny doesn't get upset with us. Well, is it more important to do your homework or be on time? <laughs> Who knows? Whose homework is this? It's his homework. Oh dear. Well, I'm gonna have him come on time instead of uh, doing the homework. So who is not going to school? Is everyone going to school? Yes. Little Lester here is actually adopted. <laughs> <laughs> he was found on the doorstep of this house and nobody really knows where he came from but Lilith that was living here at the time before she died tragically um, she adopted him so he is now Lester Pleasant alright wait what are we doing? Okay, he wants to max out seven skill. Okay. Well, I'm not too sure I'm gonna act on that because I don't know if it's even possible. He only has <laughs> the creativity skill so far. <laughs> so, but he wants to invite someone over. We could like do that. See what happens. When they had like both, oh, great! He, he learned to walk. Oh, how happy they are! 
Uh, when they had like uh, seven toddlers, they didn't, but they, Melinda was also living over here and uh, I had to move her because she was uh, starving to death. <laughs> So uh, Dirk took her in because it is his daughter. So <laughs> yeah, because like this house is not very good. You have the the refrigerator down re refrigerator down here, and then like I have I was having the children like all over the place, and both the nanny and the the butler they got stuck everywhere and. Then, uh, in the end, <laughs> yeah, the, it's not it's not the greatest um, layout <laughs> for playability. But I don't want to change it because it's the goth house, you know, it's tradition or something. Well, I was, like, in the end, Melinda was sitting with um, a bottle and she wouldn't drink it. She would pick it up and then throw it off, away like over and over and I was so scared that the sh social worker would show up so I just moved her to another family and she was fine. <laughs> um, I think I cheated uh, to do that but you know okay so here's is this Bells? Yes. But we could pay Bells online I think. How do we do that? Uh, pay bills. I think I don't have to extract money first, but maybe I do. So who does he want to invite over? We could, we could invite Jerk over. Why not? Invite household. I don't know if he's at home. Like, Melinda should be in school, also Dorian. Uh -huh. Did I even add Dorian to my... No, I haven't. Who's Dorian? <laughs> Wait, so here is Dor- oh my goodness, he has so many children that I haven't added to my separate um family tree but he <laughs> he obviously has melinda and then he has with steffi dreamer that he has married he has dorian dean and duke so because i think steffi is like a family sim <laughs> it seems like so she keeps wanting to having more and more children also, I'm I'm not sure this grandchild wish um, actually fulf fulfills. Is that how you say that word? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if it does. It might be a. a I might. Ha Maybe I should sheet it, but I don't know. He is definitely coming, but the rest of my household may not be coming with me. All right, okay. I apparently have an ad academic manipulator. Okay. And Kaylin Rangarag is here to clean too. She is everywhere, let me tell you. Okay. I think um, Darren should give her a tip. Oh, so you don't have enough money for this transaction. Okay, so then we will extract some money then. Bank online, withdraw like 2,000. Can I have 2,000, please? And then after that, we could pay bills. Oh dear, she is tired. Well, then you should have a little sleep. <laughs> and there's actual money <laughs> being exchanged. <laughs> All right, and there's new bills. And I have this little 
um, where is it? Here. I put. Oops. There's a little shelf, probably because the male person is over here in the way. There we go. So now, when you get mail, they will put the bills on, on there. That's very handy, I think. Uh, Alright, Dustin also came over. Uh, can we, like, greet everyone? Greet? Ah. What are you doing with the child? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? You have the nanny here. Let, let him be. Stop. Um, okay, first greet everyone before they run off. Oh, come on. I'm stuck in the tree. Okay. Greet everyone. Oh, hello. And also here's apparently Randy. We're all apparently having a party. I don't know. <laughs> Why are you thinking of adoption, Steffi? It's kind of weird. Hello. Okay, Cornelius is losing enthusiasm about arts and crafts. To stay more excited about this hobby, Cornelius will have to spend more time. All right. Well, Darren's uh, hobby is nature, apparently. Okay. Why did this not fulfill? There is a way to sheet. I'm, I'm gonna test it. Uh, I think you're gonna write testing sheets on no. Is it a bull prop? Bull prop. Testing. Maybe it's testing sheets enabled. True. Maybe that. And then control click. <laughs> and you get it. What? Oh, he got it again? Why? Why does why do you want to invite like the whole neighborhood over, Darren? But okay. I thought it didn't fulfill, but maybe it, it did and I got it again and then he got it a third time? Maybe? I don't know. And he wants to like we have four guests over here. Isn't that enough? Why do you want more? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Wait, when is the baby coming? I don't think we can invite Melinda over. Well, we could try. I think she is in school. So it shouldn't work. Maybe we do Kiyoshi instead, but we're not friends with anyone. So maybe he has... Okay, and he's not at home either. Okay, let's try someone else then. <laughs> Maybe Bruce is in prison, so we should invite him. Uh, Brianna. Okay, but we have to talk to her first. And a thing that you can do in The Sims 2 is you can pay attention to what they're talking about and see if that's working and it is so then there was like a hat <laughs> oh i went the wrong way then you can go into their interests and figure out what was that um i think it might be paranormal Yes, he was talking about paranormal and she liked that, so we could change. <laughs> Where is it? 
change topic to paranormal because otherwise he will start talking about other stuff. And then we should have a better effect. <laughs> Can't do that in Sims 4. See now he has double pluses all over the place. Cassandra is just asleep, but she's hungry, so she could like serve lunch. Hamburgers. Uh, you can change the subject on the phone and when they're talking in in face-to-face -face mode. <laughs> when you just shows talk, you can change the topic. And they have interests. Uh, so you can see that uh, Cassandra, she also likes paranormal. So that's probably why she and Darren gets along so well. Um, but Sims not in your household, you just have to pay attention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing at the picture of Lilith? That's weird. Okay. Well, why isn't the guest coming inside? I don't know. Now, did we become friends with that person? No. We'll have to call her again. Because <laughs> we still want to uh, invite someone over. What's the point of inviting someone over if you don't want to talk to them? <laughs> what is the point? Call her, just talk, and we'll do change topic to paranormal again. Mm -hmm. You won't mind. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I have flies in my kitchen. Why aren't you talking? Oh, yeah. There you go. Also, <laughs> in The Sims 2 you have everyone that is here uh, first, but then everyone is like sorted in how much you like them. So you know that uh, the ones way over here, you don't like them. And then also there's numbers, so you can keep track of, of who you like more. It's very good. Uh, how did that even go? 42? Are you kidding me? Usually it only takes two phone calls. But may maybe Darren isn't as charismatic as other sims. Yeah, I guess talk to her again. No, it doesn't go well. Uh... Oh, Cornelius is home from school. He's... Oh, we need to rem remember that the headmaster is coming over. Um, okay. What is wrong with your desk? <laughs> well, he needs to do this homework. He's not in the mood. Oh no. What are you in the mood for? Fun. Okay. Well, if you play video games in here, you might disturb your mother and little brother. I don't know. What is fun? Maybe you go up here and look through this. Wait, he... Usually they don't want to do that if they're in the red. I don't know. Maybe he will find something else to do that is fun. Ah, he did it. All right, okay. That's weird. <laughs> he saw John Barb. <laughs> okay. Oh, what is happening now? Oh, he has a job too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Apparently he has a job. Okay, he has a lot of things. Okay, 
Steffi is over here having a drink, apparently. Alright, she just had a baby. Fine. Yes. <laughs> and John comes over to, to shout at him. Oh no! <laughs> Don't spy on me! <laughs> <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> well, he's probably embarrassed to be seen right now. Uh, because he, he hasn't divorced Jennifer, he has moved in with Ginger. So, that's probably scandalous. Yes, yes. I just managed to get in the carpool. Okay, are you making more food? Oh, I told her to do it. Okay, good. Lester is doing extremely well in school. That's good to know. Dalmar brought home a friend from school today. Who was it? Who is this? Bob the <laughs> Third. He is a descendant of Bob Newby. That was a character in The Sims 1. In relation to Bob Pancakes? I don't know. Oh, he's so happy about his good grade. Wait, why is he jumping up and down to Dustin? Hmm. Why is it so hard to put your your homework on your t little tables? What what is wrong with them? I don't know. I don't understand. Well, at least it didn't glitch out. Does he want to make do his homework? Oh, he wants to get help, but he also wants to have fun first. Wait, was it Delmar that brought home the little friend? Where is the little friend? <laughs> I lost him. Oh no. There he is. Talk to him. And then maybe you can like play or something. What is Davis doing? Oh, you put your homework way over there. Yes, I see. That's smart. Oh, why can't I put the homework in the inventory? Well... Let's just go up here. Be over here. I think I gave them extra homework because they... Um, they lost theirs, I think. He has no wish to do his homework though, so... He wants to go fishing. Do we create a little pond over here or should I have him go somewhere fishing? I don't know. I'm gonna lock that in. I have to go um, on the ladies room. So I will have a short break and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
Hi, I'm back. <laughs> oh. oh, did he automatically decide to do his homework? Because I am pretty sure I didn't direct him to do that. Okay, well, that that's... I'm okay with that. No! Darren isn't at home! No! <laughs> is Cassandra dying? Who likes her the most? Oh no, oh no, oh no. What is happening? Why... Why does... Why is this happening? Okay, well, Lester likes her 93. I, I hope children can plead to death. Is he, is she like, she was kind of hungry? I hate when this happens. Oh no. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with it. Um, yeah, skip over there. My goodness, what is happening? Why, was she that hungry? I didn't see that she was that hungry. I thought we had time. I had her making hamburgers. Oh no, this, this is awful. It seems Lester has the best relationship with her of the children and her husband is not at home. Oh my goodness, I will have to take a picture before her head gets into the wall. <laughs> Oh my goodness. No. I don't I didn't want Cassandra to die. That's not fun. <laughs> but my rule is I don't cheat these things. If they die, they die. But I'll I'll, I'll try to uh oh, come on death. Can I can I plead? I hope children can plead. Oh my goodness. Doesn't seem like children can plead for death. Oh my goodness. How did Shella Reeves get here? No. <laughs> Should I? I don't think I can go into. Oh, I can't. Uh maybe maybe like dirk could plead for her make selectable all visitors <laughs> yeah sure why not um and we'll just see who who has a good relationship he doesn't even know her zero um zero Oh dear, this is not going to end well, I'm telling you, even though I'm trying to cheat it. There is another way to cheat it, but I won't do it. <laughs> the odds are not good for Cassandra, I do agree. Cornelius is not at home, so he can't do it. You know what, It's it's not gonna happen. Uh, make unselectable. No, nope. sorry. Or we could have Dirk try. I don't. I don't think it's gonna work. But he, he could try. Uh, where is he? Oh no. Oh well. Make selectable Dirk. Sometimes I miss. And you could plead for loved one, even though <laughs> he doesn't even have cry up, up here. It says sigh. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is inconvenient for him, apparently. Goodness. Okay, but please do it. Please at least try. I don't... <laughs> Please let her live. Like, I don't really care about her, but, you know, she's kind of hot. <laughs> she has two bolts with her. <laughs> oh, 
<sighs> oh goodness. This house. It's kind of cursed. Don't be in the way. I need to see. Darn. <laughs> he did not get the shining orb or the light ball uh, orb thingy that you need to save the loved one. I think. Oops. I failed that one. <laughs> I was looking forward to that baby. Even though, like, this house has been so chaotic, but, you know, there was a baby on the way. She has been waddling around my neighborhood for the entire rotation where, while I have been playing other Sims. And she, now she has. Oh no. <laughs> PG the headmaster has arrived for dinner. <laughs> well, uh, you can have hamburgers. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um. Okay, I will make all visitors unselectable. Um. Okay. Well, I guess Lester will have to deal with the headmaster. He has the best grade, I guess. Okay. Well, there she goes. Bye, Cassandra. I'll just put her outside uh, next to Lilith, I guess. Where does she go? Where's uh, who is everyone else? Can I see that? The, this is Simon Crumple button. Crumple button. And this is Cornelia Goth. Um. I think I'm just gonna put her... We'll have to expand this. She'll be over there for for now. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Yes. Every time. I thought like this time we would have like a... Like a, a calm little... Um, session with the goths. It will be fine. <laughs> you know what just happened? Because we didn't have an adult at home. Because Cassandra was the last adult and, and there was no maid at home. <laughs> no. They all got taken away. <laughs> no. <laughs> In the event of Cassandra Dream is passing, the following businesses have been bequeathed to Darren Dreamer, effective immediately also, so that he got her businesses. But then it's not a good idea to leave Seth home alone without supervision. And we, I didn't even get... Okay, well... Uh... They are now not here anymore. I think we can just say goodbye to the headmaster. <laughs> Darren's face when he comes home. <laughs> yeah, poor, poor Darren. I I thought like Darren is older than Cassandra, so I thought like he would go first. Oh, oh my god. Well, Nobody's home. I can't do anything. Okay. Well, uh, can I? No, I can't. Why? Because social worker time. All right. Okay. Not according to plan. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least Cornelis, uh, our heir, is still like part of the family. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> and a chance card. Let's see if he loses his job. What is happening? Right. Okay. So the workday feels long and no one seems to be working well. A co-worker suggests a mid-work five-minute dance party and several people begin dancing with no music playing. Should Darren join this spontaneous idea or remain seated in case it's a miserable failure? I feel... Like, this is the last time Darren will be happy for a while, so I think that we should have him dance. <laughs> what happens? Darren isn't so sure about dancing to silent music, so he joins the dance party, but turns on some music first. While everyone around Darren begins to dance, the music is loud and disturbs another team who file a complaint against Darren. He is forced to pay a fine for his disturbance at work. Darren is not having a good day. And he doesn't even know the half of it. <laughs> no, it's not his day. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, see, this could never happen in The Sims 4. Ima could you imagine? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, apparently Sheila has the oppor opportunity to enter college. Um, all right. Well, okay. So everyone aged up because they're still here because the social worker hasn't taken them yet. So what do I do about that in the spreadsheet? I, I probably just age everyone up. Um, I think so. Uh, Cornelius is obviously 14, but Lester is 11, Davis and Dalmar is now 10, and Seth is 5. And so the game will just put them like in sort of a bin where you could adopt them. But what I'm gonna do uh, when I am allowed to do it by the game. <laughs> Cornelius has returned from home. Wait, I should have left to earn like where it was so that they could come home and discover the thing. But I can't I can't do it now. So he will just go over and mourn over here. Oh my goodness. Why is he in his bathing suit? Because he's a fish fish chummer. I think you should have clothes on for that. <laughs> yes, that is how you carry a baby, social worker. Oh my god. Um, yeah, great memories. I hate that the camera does that. Um, Okay, well, um, give the headmaster a tour then. I, I don't think <laughs> this is gonna go well, but we could try. Oh, he can mourn his dead mother later. <laughs> they could have some sort of gathering later this night. Okay, well, show this room. He doesn't like it. Okay, well that's too bad. A tour of your home would be lovely. Yes. That headmaster is probably like, what the heck is going on? Yes. I I do um, think that he would not be uh, impressed by this chaos. Uh, show this room. Well, we'll see how it goes. He lost all his brothers. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, if you like that room, you're probably gonna love this room. What is happening over here? Oh. Dustin is sad because the children was taken away. All right. Okay. 
Wow. Dustin is having his own troubles, I feel. Um, it's a whole thing. What just happened? <laughs> All the children just came back. What? No, they're gone again. <laughs> Alright, okay. Thanks for the chore. Yes, okay, let's let's uh, have food now. Grab a plate. This is gonna be lovely. My mother made these hamburgers before she died, you know? <laughs> uh, can I save now? Yes. Okay, we'll, we'll do the headmaster and then we'll deal with the lost children. I don't know if I have room in the orphanage. We'll see. Yeah, maybe I need to play the orphanage for a bit before I can move them into, or they will be unsynced. Oh, that's lovely, Cornelis. What is this? He wants to win the Young Entrepreneurs Award. What is that? Um, this sim must reach the top of a teen career. Oh, that's why he is in here. And he needs to learn cleaning. Oh. <laughs> I can't keep track of everything. Well, at least this household will be way easier to play now. <laughs> oh my god, and he wants to resurrect Cassandra. Yeah, I bet you would. Wait, you were here the entire time? We had a butler here? And they still took the children away? Uh, well, I don't know. That's what happened. Who is all these people that is over here? <laughs> right, okay. Well. Things! How, how are we doing with the headmaster? Do we like him? Kind of. Okay. Now the phone's ringing. Oh no, and the food turned bad. Stop eating then. That will probably not yield us very good food points here. <laughs> <laughs> you serve me rotten burgers! <laughs> Shut up! My dead mom made them! <laughs> oh my goodness! Darren has returned from work! Okay, well go smooch to the headmaster, I guess. Where are you? Oh my goodness. Oh. He is devastated. He... like his whole world just collapsed, I feel. Like, all his children was taken away. Cornelius is not even his. <laughs> so he has, he has no one left now. Sort of. Who is this? Simon Crumplebottom is here to kill someone that could be scared to death, I guess. Don't do it. Okay. Can you, like, talk to the headmaster? Is, it, is that impossible? Hey Cornelius, is Darren available to talk? Sure. I guess. Unless he's dying of sadness over here. I don't know. At least we can save now. Darren might be cursed. First, Darlene. Who's Darlene? Oh, oh right. 
I was like, oh, Starlene, that's Dirk's mother. You're right. Wait. That is correct. She also, she's not an elder. What happened with her? I don't remember. And now Cassandra. Yeah. Yeah, the family starts with her dead, but is there like um, some lore written down about that or something? I'm gonna Google Darlene. Oh, I can't write either. Dreamer. Darlene Dreamer. Here we go. Um, One of the pre-created yet unplayable sims in The Sims 2. Um, the player can see her in the family tree. Does it say how she died? It is resided in Pleasant View, one of the neighborhoods that ships the game. I don't remember if there was a story. No, I don't remember it. Darren the Dark still lives there. She her ghost is red, indicating that she died in a fire. Okay, she haunts a lot and it's possible to resurrect her. All right. <laughs> if she's resurrected, she will return with a blank personality. Uh, then I don't think it's uh, advisable to do it. <laughs> All right. What? There are two Darlene dreamers. One of them, hidden Darlene, is created with Darren and Dirk and recognizes Darren as spouse and Dirk as son. But it is not possible to resurrect her. The other is the Darlene who has family relationship with Dirk but does not recognize Darren as a husband and can be resurrected. They look alike in some ways, but the unresurrectable Darlene dreamer wears a white floral sundress and has an unused hairstyle. Okay, well, I say it's not advisable to resurrect uh, people that start dead when the game starts because sometimes they don't have complete character files and it will cause issues. <laughs> uh, all right, well, um, Headmaster, where is he? How's it going? It's going fairly well. <laughs> let's talk, uh, let's smooth and see if we can get some smooth points. I think also ignore Lisa. <laughs> Bob and I are leaving since it's so late and way past bedtime. Sure thing. Bye bye. But why are you taking Bob? Oh, Bob is going the other way. <laughs> Bob is uh, Brandy Broke's son that she has with uh, Corey Sartor. So. It might be uh, possible to get Cornelius into into private school. I hope nobody else dies. I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> People should go home. It's dangerous to be outside during the night in the goth house. Oh, I thought it was the game. Just neighbors <laughs> drilling. Smooge about school again. Didn't get any points. Try smoothing. Oh, 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 it doesn't work. Okay. Well, talk to him then, maybe? I want grandchildren. Yes, grandchildren are lovely. <laughs> Sometimes I, I imagine what they're saying. 
And it's like, what are they saying? I don't know. You can flirt with him. I don't know. Let's not flirt with him. <laughs> that would be weird. I don't think you have to smooth. I think if you just gain a, enough um relationship points you might i will try to smooch anyway might get points over here look we only need like 14 points no he doesn't like fashion goodbye steffi Oh. <laughs> well, surprisingly, the headmaster does not think that this is the kind of family <laughs> that should be associated with such a fine institution. <laughs> I think I got the children taken away during his visit. <laughs> like, how much worse can it go? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we didn't manage that. Um, you lot just take care of yourself. I don't know. Do homework. I don't know. Are you in a bad mood? Really? Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, can you, like, play a game? Maybe play SSX3. And, and you... Why don't you just go to bed? Sleep? All right, okay, so it has turned to Friday. And, um... <laughs> like, normally, uh, playing The Sims calms me, but this was not... <laughs> this was not the thing that would do that. So I would... Well, I'm gonna say that all of these made it to Friday. But the orphanage is still on Thursday, so we need to play until 6 o'clock at least with the orphanage to get it all in sync. Also, how many children was that? Uh, there was... Okay, so we have four children to move to the orphanage. Where is the orphanage? There we go. And... Okay, well, it's like this. We have... where is it? <laughs> I always lose it. I can't find it. I can never find it. This is the retirement home. Over here. Okay, so Herb and Faith Goody. Not only Goody. Okay, so Herb and Faith. Herbert and Faith have been running the orphanage, but lately they shall be moved in to like sort of take over when they they are going to die soon. So I think if we move them out, we will have room for the unfortunate children. That's what we're going to do. First, <laughs> first we gotta play until Friday morning, or at least Friday night, so they can they can stay here, um, because like it, it's like they are training uh, Shelby over here to take over. Um, because they are like, we are getting way too old. See, they're like almost at the end of their lifespans. Uh, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm all stressed. <laughs> um, she's doing well. 
but she will be alone with an awful lot of children. But it's fine, we'll ha hire a nanny too. So, it, it, it's gonna be okay. I hope. But I think I have a modded sign thingy. Where is it? Didn't I download it? Like the institutional sign. No, you know what? It's fine. So, <laughs> according to the game files right now, uh, those children are still part of... Um, we can su summon... They are still part of the goth household, if I do remember correctly how it works. So if I can just find a goth family, I can check that. Where is it? No, they're not. <laughs> Where are they? Are they townies? Now. I'm not sure. We can check. Because uh, the game doesn't delete them when they get taken away like that. In the olden days, I usually. Um, um, I usually uh, just adopted them uh, by someone else's, some uh, some other family. Let's see. So we have Lester. Oh, <laughs> I wrote peasant here. It should be pleasant. <laughs> That's funny. So, if we go into SimPE and we go to find Lester, for instance, where is he? Uh, here he is, Lester Pleasant. We open him, then we could open his family. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> It's the dreamer family because Cassandra married uh, Darren. That's <laughs> right. Okay. Yes. They are still part of the dreamer family. That's how it is. <sighs> My brain. So if you uh, just tuned in, I was playing the goth mansion, which was apparently the dreamer household because Cassandra married um, Darren Dreamer in my game. And apparently Cassandra was very hungry and Darren was not at home and she uh, starved to death. And then all the children got taken away because they were left at home with no parent there. And, you know, technically I could uh, have them, I can spawn them back here and move them back in. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Because <laughs> the government decided that th that the goth house with all the ghosts, ghosts and everything was not a suitable environment for the little children. So they are going to the orphanage <laughs> because their mother died. So if I go on here, I'm just gonna. I'm just not gonna do it quite yet, but I will 
uh, just look. Yes, we, we have them all over here. So I could just spawn them over and then move them in. So we're playing the, the orphanage house uh, for a little bit. Um, yeah, so now, as I said in the beginning of the stream, wait, so Yes, <laughs> I don't remember what I said. So, oh, all right. So we are going to always um, see what happens with Cornelis Goth that is still living in the Goth mansion, but also Lester Pleasant. Uh, so, and he is moving back in here. So the orphanage is now a uh, streamed household. And uh, there's some other children here. Little Nicole and Michelle. These are, by the way, townies that I moved in and aged down <laughs> to have some children in case someone wants to adopt someone. Uh, I think like we're going to have a slight problem unless people start adopting the children. But like it's fine as long as um, the orphanage doesn't get full. Then it is fine. Yes, you need to take care of yourself too. You can't just take care of the children. You you need to uh, like take a shower and then go to bed. Uh, do we have enough beds? Yes, we do. Maybe she calls a nanny. Oh service in this whole household we sheet money when we need to <laughs> because uh, the city provides um, what is needed and we are going to call a nanny and then go to bed uh, just now back in the day I used to uh, hire nannies uh, just for now and uh, after a while <laughs> that was just I would trap them in and then I would kill them that way you don't have to pay <laughs> but we don't do that anymore <laughs> Well, here, here's a nanny over to help. Uh, he wants to get a picture. His lifetime wish is to become a mad scientist, apparently. Um, alrighty. I don't think he's gonna be able to do that. But he also wants to talk about a hobby. I seem to recall his Lifetime wish being something related to painting. I feel like everyone's lifetime wishes. I I, will, I I should start writing them down because it feels like they change. I'm not sure if they do, but it feels like they do. Not sure. What are you doing? She's reading the art section. Oh, I didn't even know there was an art section in the newspaper, apparently. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Why, why do they all want to go fishing? Could we like put a pond down? Whoops. I don't know. I don't think so. Well, maybe. I don't know why, why everyone 
keeps wanting to go fishing. But you know, we could we could put a small little pond down here. It's gonna be nice. Whoops, not around a tree. Oh. I'm submerging the tree by accident. Okay, well that that's fine. <laughs> there. Ish. Because that's apparently what we want to do. I hope the nanny can take care of everything because I can't right now. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just go have lunch. Maybe it's time for me to have lunch with all this drama. Like maybe it's enough <laughs> for me today. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm um, I'm gonna try and find someone to uh, to raid, and uh, so that we can um, try to move, try to start moving on. <laughs> okay, so Steffi Goat is playing The Sims Four, and we're gonna raid them. Um, if I can find the right button, it's not. Something that we can be sure I can do. But yeah. There you go. So. Until next time. <laughs> Have a super duper time. And try not to get your sims killed and taken away. <laughs> Take care and stay, stay safe. And everything. Bye now. To bathroom. <laughs>